You're looking at the Saskatchewan Penitentiary on PA Now. I'm Glenn Hicks, the News Director, joined by Taylor McPherson, our reporter. And Taylor, I know you've done a lot of reporting in recent weeks on the pen. Oh, very much so, Glenn. It all started on October 31st when Correctional Investigator Ivan Zinger released his report. And he was just highly critical of the Saskatchewan Penitentiary. You know, he said it's not conducive to rehabilitation. And most recently, I talked to the regional president of the Union of Canadian Correctional Officers. And he says that a lot of what Ivan Zinger says in his report isn't really the case. He says that they meet all the standards when it comes to both safety and programming. And one obvious voice missing from your reporting at the moment. Uh, yeah, the one voice we really haven't heard from is Correctional Service Canada, the federal uh, governing body that oversees the penitentiary. They've declined repeated re requests for interviews, and all they've really said is that there aren't any plans to close the penitentiary in the near future. Okay, I'd encourage you to check out PA now. There's been a lot of quality reporting by Taylor on the penitentiary, the state of it, what its future, etc. Also, stay with PA now, where we report on the sudden and tragic and unexpected death of Melford MLA Kevin Phillips today. And also, should Saskatchewan follow the suit of other provinces and start thinking about legislation where we should all prepay at the gas pump? Stay at PA now.